गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सेट वन क्वेश्चन फोर द एरिया ऑफ एन एलिप्स रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई एन इक्वेशन एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर ए स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर ओवर बी स्क्वायर इक्वल्स वन इज फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवेन एज पाई ए बी बाई फोर पाई ए बी बाई टू पाई ए बी एंड फोर पाई ए बी बाई थ्री द रिलेवेंट एन पी टेल रेफरेंस हैज बीन लिस्टेड कमिंग टू द यूजफुल डेटा फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इफ वी नीड टू फाइंड द एरिया अंडर अ कर्व विच इज गिवेन एज वाई इक्वल्स एफ एक्स सो वॉट वी डू इज अ सर्टन रेंज विल बी स्पेसिफाइड दैट विल बी फ्रॉम एक्स इक्वल्स ए टू लेट एस से एट एक्स इक्वल्स बी सो वॉट वी डू इज वी टेक दिस वन एलिमेंट विच विल हैव अ विथ ऑफ डी एक्स एंड इट विल हैव अ सर्टन एक्स कॉर्डिनेट सो एट दिस एक्स द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस फंक्शन विल बी एफ एक्स so the area of this rectangle let us call it as da will can be written as fx into dx but what we need is the whole area under this function from a to b so for this we integrate the function from a to b so integrating this we will get da and this will be integrated for the whole curve equals integral of fx dx and we can impose the limits on x from x equals a to x equals b this technique can be used to compute the area under any curve coming to the solution the curve given is of an ellipse an ellipse is specified by x square over a square plus y square over b square equals 1 it can be drawn for easy visualization in the following shape so this point is given as a comma 0 this point is given as minus a comma 0 this point is 0 comma b and this point is 0 comma minus b this axis is called the major axis and this axis that is the y axis is called the minor axis this is the general convention sometimes we can also call the x axis as the minor axis and y axis is the major in that case the orientation of the ellipse will be along the y axis so we need to frame this equation in such a way that it becomes in the format of y equals fx so that we can integrate it from a certain limit to a certain limit and find the area so taking the x square by a square term on the right hand side we will get y square over b square equals 1 minus x square over a square this would give y as b square by a square into a square minus x square square root this would give y as b over a into root over a square minus x square the thing that one should take care is that since we are doing a square root it will have both signs positive and negative so the positive sign will be for the curve that is above the x axis which will be b by a root over a square minus x square and the negative will be for the part below the x axis that will be minus b by a root over a square minus x square also one can note that all these four parts of the ellipse are symmetric so if we can find the area of any one part we and then we can multiply it with 4 we will have the area of the whole ellipse so taking the area for this quadrant that is the first quadrant in the positive xy axis so let us call that as da and da would be fx dx so fx can be written from here which is the positive sign b by a root over a square minus x square times dx and we can integrate it from origin that is 0 to a comma 0 we only need to impose the limit for x so x from 0 to a this would give and da will integrate it for the curve so this would give the area let us say it as a quadrant equals b by a can be taken out the integration of this term a square minus x square dx is a standard integral and it is written as x by 
root over a square minus x square plus a square over 2 sine inverse of x by a and the limits will be from 0 to a this can be written as b by a into when we impose the limit of a we can see that this term would become 0 and when we impose the limit of a in this term we would get a square by 2 into it would become sine inverse a by a that is sine inverse 1 that is pi by 2 and now we need to impose the limit of 0 so we can see that when we put 0 here this term would become 0 and this term will also become 0 since sine inverse of 0 is 0 for the lower limit the values will be 0 this would give the value as pi a b by 4 so this is the value for one quadrant so the area of the ellipse since all the four quadrants are symmetric will be nothing but four times area of a one quadrant that is a q a q was calculated as pi a b by 4 this would give the area of the whole ellipse as pi a b so we simply need to frame this equation in the form of y equals fx and use the suitable equation for the positive version or the even the negative version in one quadrant since the shape is symmetric and then we can multiply it accordingly with the number of quadrants to obtain the whole area the area of the ellipse represented by the equation x square by a square plus y square by b square equals 1 was found out as pi a b that is option c the relevant NPTEL reference has been listed.